Hello friends, welcome to Art Tutorials. In today's episode, we will learn all about Angular 8's ng if directive statements. This is part of Angular 8 full tutorial series that we are bringing you with live examples. Before we proceed, please do subscribe to my channel to keep getting free help and advice. If you face any queries, any questions, please drop in your questions in the comments below. I will be happy to help you. Let's get started. So what exactly is NGF's directive statement? So if you are coming from any programming language background, uh, maybe Java, JavaScript, or any other programming language, I'm sure you would have used if-else statements. NGF directive is similar to ng uh, the if-else statements that you have used in the previous uh, programming languages. It's a conditional based check. If certain condition is true, execute this, else go to the next part. So it you can use multiple ngif statements in the template file, and we can also write ngif else. So we'll learn all about that in this tutorial. We can easily modify template elements using the data set in component files. So you can always uh, change the behavior, look in uh, the elements of the template based on the component logic that you have. That being said, this was all about the overview of ngif statements. We will learn ngif, how to use ngif else statements. Uh, we'll use some logical operators on ngif. Let's get started. And again, if you have any questions or doubts, feel free to drop in in the comments below. I will be happy to help you. Let's get to our project. So if you're following us from previous tutorials, we are still building on our Agile board uh, project and we'll continue to use that in this tutorial. <coughs> All right, so let's first go to the template file and nothing fancy to get you started. I will just throw in a few DIVs and I'll call it, this is profiles section. And here I'll call this as this these tasks section and if you want to be really creative go ahead give it a class pg say secondary and this is bootstrap classes this is angular with bootstrap uh, you can use any uh, css that you wish to use let's get this fired up first uh, let's start the application by serving ng serve application this will compile the application and get it up and running so so far we have just added simple two templates uh, div in the template file we have added two simple divs html divs and nothing much more than that all right so i'm going to re refresh and now we see that uh, since i'm using bootstrap so it has applied uh, two different background colors to these sections Let's be a little more creative in our design and I'll just call it and I'm moving all of them inside the row and then I'll just add a class say call six. So this is like adding column six. So we have now two sections which are next to each other. The color is a little dim. So I'll just change it. So now we have two sections, profile and tasks. All right, at least this is a good way to, uh, uh, let's make it light. No, not, this is better, okay. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial, we'll just stick to these two colors. So we have created a row with two sections, call six, call six, so occupying one for profile, one for task section. Now, <clears throat> now our requirement is if, the profile section is active then only show that or if task is section is present then only show the task that's the if else we'll use so or i'm not going to keep this here i'm removing this totally so we should see something like this now uh all right uh okay for i'll keep it simple friends <clears throat> the idea is to learn if else so let's stick to that all right, now let's go to the component file and create a new variable. I'll call it profiles equal to true. So what I've done is I've added a variable and I'm saying it profiles equal to true. 
similarly i am adding one more variable tasks equal to true so i have added two variables let's go to our comp template file again and here we will use the built-in directive which is ng if equal to profiles so here i'm saying if profiles is true then only show this section similarly i can say if tasks is equal to true then show the task section so no wonder we are seeing both the sections now because app dot component has both true now i'm going to make one as false so now profile should be displayed task section should not be according to this if else statements so we see that we don't see task anymore we see only profiles because we set profiles to true and task to false so i'm going to make it false again <coughs> now we don't see any section because both are set to false now this was using two variables in the if else right now let's say i want to add some more let's say i'll add one more and i'll say uh, <coughs> user is equal to true that means the user is logged in let's say so you can add conditional statements and say if ng if profile and user that means now both the conditions should be satisfied to display profile so but if you make any one false so user is false profiles is true we should ideally not see the thing because we have added our logical condition which is and operator if you make it or any one condition should be satisfied to make this con ng if true again we are back because in profiles is set to true i'm going to make this false now we won't see any <coughs> So this is how we can use ng if statement to set a particular directive template to visible or hide based on some condition which is coming from our component we learned how to use logical operators which is and or or operator with ng if i'm going to take this example and i'll go build one more so here we'll learn how to this is profile section with else if else condition so <laughs> all right so so far what we have used is ng if if you see the there is no else statement but in more practical applications you might want to use single attribute and then call it is else or let's say is profile uh, is profile verified equal to true so nothing fancy i just added <coughs> i just added a new variable called is profile verified now let's go to our template here i am saying <coughs> show profile section if profile is verified else Right. so i have added a if statement and i'm checking if this variable is set to true ng if is profile verified profile is verified if not then the way we write is not this slight change in the syntax here we'll continue writing we'll say else give the name that you want to refer it we'll say not verified this name can be anything that you want to use but make sure you're using the same name with hash here so now you are making a reference here and saying if ng if is true do execute this section this block else go to not verified which is this block so let's see this in action <coughs> so now this is saying profile is verified profile is not verified now let's go and set that value so here I am making it false. So now profile is not verified. 
so you see profile is not verified because it's going to the else condition now similarly go ahead and make this true so now we see both because this is set to true this is set to false and the way to do is if ng if is verified profile else not verified so we set it to false and now it comes to the else part and if you want to make it hidden you can also use the negation of it for example now let's see the same example with hidden so you can show and hide elements like this uh, using just simple plain if uh, ng if set a condition to true or false you can use ng if with logical operators like and or not we can also use a not operator something like this and say if it is not true then see this is task section because it is showing we have put it to false so you can use and or not operators we learned also how to use if else operator if profile is verified execute else not verified so this was all about our ng if uh, directive statements in angular 8 <clears throat> please give it a try and let me know how it goes if you need any help feel free to drop it in the comments i will be happy to help you before i leave you please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so i can bring you more cool tutorials thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode